that's what it comes down to. In the USA, ladies and gentlemen, look at these headlines from Austin to Albuquerque, New Mexico, to California, to peaceful students sitting out at UC Davis being sprayed with pepper spray for no reason. Uh, you try to chalk the sidewalk in front of your own house, you get arrested in Austin. It's totally protected speech. It's a public commons. People have always drawn on the walls and the ground. Rome tried to ban it and they could. They don't want the little people having speech. They don't want you being free on the internet. They don't want talk radio. They don't want Infowars.com or DrudgeReport.com or anything else they don't control. Look at these headlines. Santa arrested in Austin for drawing on sidewalk with chalk. Huffington Post. R Review Journal. Sidewalk chalk. This is Las Vegas. Could land four protesters in jail for a year. A year. You know, people ask what I'm going to do today as I take this Thursday. I'm going out with a video camera tomorrow morning with my slave phone, my iPhone, and I'm going to chalk. And, 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 and if I get arrested, I do. And, and if I'm a bad guy because of that, so be it. That's what I'm doing July 4th. Everybody listening to my voice should, should go to the store, whatever you got to do, and chalk that we have a First Amendment, we have freedom, and we have a Second Amendment, and we're not backing down. <clears throat> jail for using chalk on sidewalk city needs to erase this error that's out of orlando that's florida sidewalk chalk artists acquitted after facing 13 years in jail over vandalism international business Times. see it's backfiring look at this from last july 4th july 4th park rules no generators propane grills Number one. Number two, no tents or shelters. Number three, police will be conducting searches of bags and coolers for reasons of public safety. Yeah, they're going to take your freedom for your safety. That's the greatest danger. Number four, no alcoholic beverages at any time. No personal fireworks, including novelty fireworks and sparklers. No dogs or pets allowed all day. S skate park, baseball court, tennis court, and Kids Cove will be closed at 7 p.m. Notice the entire park is under video surveillance. And you can argue it's for your safety, except that didn't angels run in this system. Angels don't play this harp. It's the globalist. So that's just some of the news on that front. And then you've got what's happening now. California gun confiscation bill passes. Approves $24 million to expedite legal gun seizure. Now they're saying if one person says they're scared of your guns, even if you did nothing wrong, they'll take your guns. NYPD cracks down on long guns that hold more than five rounds. Now they're trying to ban those. Obama administration proposes new executive gun background checks with executive orders, just like open borders with executive orders. It goes on and on and on what they're doing. And then I get into all the other stacks. The TSA upping security for the 4th of July to grope your genitals because terrorists might be everywhere when the government publicly funds ISIS and Al-Qaeda is turning the whole, whole Middle East and much of Africa over to them. It's absolutely ridiculous that this is happening, that this is unfolding. And again, I don't even blame the poor TSA people. They're there to just break our will. They're not sophisticated to know that. The general public isn't sophisticated enough. And I'm here to decompartmentalize people so they understand what's happening. Look at this headline. North Dakota man sentenced to jail in controversial drone arrest case. He's the first American to be sentenced to jail because cows kept coming on his property under the law there. The third time you get to keep the cows. We own cows. We know the rules. We've had our cows taken. because They kept getting to the fence. Third time, you know, neighbor gets the cows. You go back to get the cows, they go, sorry, they keep coming over here and having sex with my prize cows, your bull does. I'm keeping your bull and I'm selling him for hamburger meat. In fact, we even have like hillbilly, um, what do you call it, the Hathcocks and the McCoys? I mean, we literally have like 30-year running deals with people that have taken some of our cows. But, you know, my grandpa didn't do anything because they, had, you know, his, his bull was over there, you know. Getting a little strange, as they say. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Fix your fence, Jones. But now Homeland Security goes after you with a predator drone, and you go to jail. And they send a SWAT team. I mean, look at what they're doing to your bank deposits, tracking everything you do, making you pay for them. That's what the whole cashless society is about. The NSA admittedly spying on everything you do. Microphones going up from Chicago to Austin, Texas. We're going to come back with Obama's abuses of power. The police armored vehicles they're buying, Big Brother and NSA surveillance. But we're also going to look at some of the positive things 
that's happened in the U.S. But we've gone from number one in every category to near the end of the pack or dead last in almost every other. Under big government, under socialism, under crony capitalism, under insider deals. It's time to change course back towards America. You know it. I want to be clear about something. Kit Daniels had a story yesterday. Let me go up to Infowars.com. He had a story on Thursday confirmed Texas spending millions to send Texas Ranger State Troopers a secure open border. And uh, they're actually doing their job, not just writing tickets and, and, and getting revenue. The state's just a lot enough money they need to operate. Not having write tickets to old ladies all day. Uh, down there, actually trying to stop all the criminals and people that are pouring across. And we saw that a few weeks ago and documented it. Now it's in the Austin American Statesman. Headline, immigration strain is felt statewide, Texas officials say. DPS Director Steve McCraw told members of the Texas House Homeland Security and Public Safety Committee that his agency is coordinating saturation patrols in high threat areas along the state's southern border. Shifting DPS troopers, Texas Rangers and DPS equipment to South Texas has drained the agency's ability to respond in other parts of the state, he acknowledged. I mean, you talk about Al-Qaeda, folks. That's a real group. They're taking over much of the Middle East right now. Our government's arming them. Again, you're being groped at the airport or on the highway. They got checkpoints, but the border is wide open. And so the state, it shows government's not one monolithic group. The state of Texas, to its credit, is actually doing what the state police are supposed to do, and that's protect those counties on the border. Sure, they don't have a jurisdiction Right on the border, that's federal. and the, That's one of the few things the feds are supposed to do. They're not doing it. So even citizens, if the police don't do their job or others don't, it's failure to render aid. The well, state police are rendering aid. And they're getting shot at, by the way. That's coming out every couple days. So it's a real deal down there. They're down there in gunboats, heavily armored, but getting shot up. And the Mexican drug cartels have 50 caliber rifles, tanks, you name it. I don't hear Obama saying a word about the armored vehicles that the Mexican drug lords have and the Mexican military has who's involved in all this. It's all about how I'm bad because I own a gun and I'm a libertarian and Homeland Security's for me. Well, statistically, the Tea Party type folks have the lowest crime rate out there. So, again, it's a bunch of bunk. It's an attempted total political takeover. But I think Obama and the globalists have miscalculated big time with this abuse of power. And they're finally starting to wake people up. But you think about the abuse of power, shutting down our power plants, putting our military under NATO command, arming Al-Qaeda, overthrowing Libya for Al-Qaeda, which they admit is many times worse. Uh, the Obamacare tax, raising seven taxes on blue-collar people, 21 taxes total. Uh, I mean, it's just monstrous. It's absolutely monstrous. And, and now members of Congress, like Randy Weber, are, are, are calling Obama a dictator. And, and he is becoming one. That doesn't mean he won't leave office. It just means he's turning the bureaucracy into a permanent dictatorship. And that means they do what they want, not what the law says, not what the Congress says. They want to open the border up, ship the illegals in on government buses. They do it. I don't declare a declaration of independence on July 4th, 2014. I declare a declaration of survival. A declaration of sanity, a declaration that I want out of crazy town because the socialists hate this country so much and the foreign banks want to wreck it and loot it. They've turned loose the socialists who really think they're going to create some type of magical puff the magic dragon land here in the United States by shipping in the dregs of the world. And I'm not against the dregs, even if they wear 6X underwear. It's just that it's not my job to pay more and more taxes to take care of you when your country won't accept me. It's a load of crap, and it just shows how tolerant Americans are and how they manipulated our Christian ethic with political correctness in the 50s and 60s to get rid of some of the major evils that were going on, to only boomerang it and replace it with stuff just as bad. In fact, I'd say even worse, because the other stuff you could see out in the open and was obviously a fraud. This stuff is creeping and sneaky and just slathering with fake niceties. Makes me want to vomit. All right, coming up, your phone calls. How do you do this with a tape show? I'll explain coming up. Now, we had callers left over at the end of the show. We just kept recording right into the fourth hour. So instead of overdrive, it's overdrive delayed for one day. Stay with us. We're going to the... We're on the mark.